Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to your math lesson on Tuesday, the 26th of January. This is now our last lesson of our multiplication unit, so Lesson 7. And today we are going to be using knowledge of factor pairs or commutativity when multiplying mentally three numbers together. Now, that definitely sounds quite confusing and doesn't follow on from our normal pattern of 11 times or 12 times table. But I promise you that you are going to be brilliant at it. And we are simply going to be uh, multiplying three numbers together. Let's just have a look what that looks like today. So you've learned a lot about multiplication tables this year. How might you solve a question like this? Four times five times two. So those people in school talk to your talk partner. Um, what different ways can you solve this problem? Those of you at home, just pause the video here. Have a think about what you might do. Okay, hopefully you've had a, had a chance to think about what you could do to solve this. And there are quite a few different ways that you could try and solve this problem. This question of four times five times two can be shown using the materials at the side. So I have sh um, pulled out some of the dominoes or the tens frame, um, no, the Numicon um, diagrams here. And this is showing five lots of two in each domino, and there are four groups of them. So if we have a look again, just at this calculation here, this is showing five lots of two, and there are four groups of them. First group here, second group, third group, and fourth group. And it's showing five groups, each having two on the inside. So this is how I've shown to draw it first of all. Four groups of them, five of my Numicon with two in each. That's one way I could show it. There is another way I could show it. And what way do you think I have shown it here? Still the same multiplication, four times five times two, as you can see. And hopefully you're still seeing four groups, which is my first four but I'm no longer showing you five groups of two, but instead two groups of five. So there are five here, one, two, three, four, five, and a five here, and I'm showing you two groups. So again, this is showing two lots of five in each domino group or each Numicon, and there are four groups of them. Okay final way to show it, which way or one of the other ways to show it, what way am I showing you here? Pause it if you want to have a think about it more. If not, I'll go through it with you now. So you can see that it's showing you just two groups now. So this is representing this two over here. And there are one, two, three, four within each block. And there are five blocks. So it's still using those same numbers but it's showing you in a slightly different way. So five lots of four in each domino group or each Numicon group, and there are two groups of them. Okay, another way, still four times five times two. So it's exactly the same, all of these questions. Another way, what am I showing you this time? Okay, you can still see two groups, which is the two here. But this time there is five in each and there are four groups of them. So hopefully you are seeing that this can be shown in different ways. This is showing four lots of five in each domino group or Numicon group and there are two groups of them. Okay, so now we've seen all the pictorial ways. This is showing that the calculation can be done in any way. And what I've done on this page is looked at the brackets. So when you um, use brackets in maths, you do that part of the calculation first. And we're just going to see if it makes any difference. So we're going to start off with this first one, four times five. So what is four times five? Lovely. Hopefully you're telling me it's 20. And then once you've got that 20, we are now timesing that 20 by two. And hopefully you tell me that, that is 40. 
it, it's always worth writing the number above the brackets to show which part you've done or drawing in the brackets to help you. OK, still the same numbers on the question number two, four times and then the five times two. It's the five times two in brackets, though. So we're going to start there this time. What is five times two? Hopefully you're telling me it's ten. And then we are doing this four times ten, which actually gives us the same answer. So it doesn't matter which way the brackets are. Next one down, I've swapped the two and the five around, but I've put the brackets again now at the beginning. Four times two. What is four times two? Four times two is eight. And eight times five now, again, is our 40. Look at that. Hopefully there's a pattern emerging here that you can see. And finally, still the same numbers, my four, two and five, but this time the bracket is around the two times five here, which is 10, very similarly to that second question. And four times 10 again is 40. So what can you tell me about these answers? Hopefully the first thing that springs to mind is they are exactly the same. Hopefully you've not been too worried um, about the size of the numbers because we can break them down. If we do one part and then another part, it's still quite simple. OK, have a go at the next one. What materials could we use to solve these? So I could start bringing out lots of the different Numicon or the Domino um, grids to bring them out. So I could start, first of all, having three groups of four lots of six. So I need my six counters and I need four groups of them. So one, two, three, four. And that's my first group. So I'm just going to pop my number one up here like I did on my other one. Then I need, and I'm actually, instead of going to copy and pasting each one separately, I'm going to copy the whole thing. That's my second group. And then I could do it once more. Oh, oh I'm not going to twist it in the corner. Let's drag that over here. There we go. Oh, a bit more. And this is my third group. OK, so hopefully you can see this three here is representing how many groups, three different groups. And in each of them, I need four lots of six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and I've got four of them in each group. You can do that in any way you want to. I could have done any of the other four ways I showed you, uh, I showed you earlier with the different ones I brought out. I could have had um, six groups of four. I could have had three groups of six and then six of the uh, three of them, whichever way you want. But how do we now work out this answer? So if I put my brackets here, what is three times four. Brilliant, 12, and then 12 times six. So we've just done our six times table. Maybe do your 12 times five, first of all, and then add one on, 72. Would it have been the same if I'd have done that in a different way? So I'm just going to copy and paste this question again, just down on the side here. Would it have worked the same if I'd have done this or would it even would it have been easier even? So I have four times six now. What is four times six? 24 and then three lots of 24, giving me that same answer of 72. Hopefully you're following this and you were able to work that out too. Have a look at another one. Oh, calculate. So we've gone straight into calculate. We've not had a look at another one. Um, I want you to have a go at these, see if you can work them out. You can draw the pictures if you want to. Um, if not, pop the brackets around one side um, and we will have a go at them when you come back. Good luck. OK, hopefully you've had a chance to have a go at those. And what I will do before I even start going through them is I will copy and paste them and I will be doing them twice depending on where I put those brackets. OK, first question, then I'm going to put my brackets at the front and do three times six. And when I do it again, I will do six times five first. So three times six 
is 18. And then we need to do 18 times five. Again, that's quite a big number, but we can do eight times five and then 10 times five and add them together. So eight times five is 40. 10 times five is 50. We can add them up to give us 90. Okay, just in the same way here, we can do this same question again on the right hand side. Six times five, first of all, which gives us 30 and three lots of 30 is 90. Now, I think this second way was easier just because of the numbers that came out, but either answer and either way you worked it out is brilliant. Okay, next one. Again, I'm going to bracket the first numbers first, and then this one, I'll bracket the second ones just to make sure the numbers come out the same. So we have five times three. Five times three, I know is 15. Now we have 15 times seven. And again, these numbers get trickier this side. So 15 times seven, I'm gonna do five times seven, first of all, which is 35. And then I'm going to do 10 times seven, which is 70. And I'm gonna add those up. Five add zero is five. Three add seven is 10. So it gave me 105. Let's see if I get the same on the other side. Three times seven is 21. And now 21 times five would give me the same 105. And again, if you wanted to do the one times five, which is five, and the 20 times five, which is the 100, to work that out, you could have done so. Okay, next one. Again, popping my brackets in the same place at the beginning, first of all, and then with my second, just to make sure they're the same. Two times four is eight, and eight times eight is 64. That one was quite simple that way. Next one, four times eight, first of all, 32. And then two times 32 still gives me my 64. Okay, last one then. So even though my equals number, uh, equals answer is on the other side, I'm still going to try my six times two first on this side and my two times five on this side. Okay, six times two is 12. And 12 times five, now I'm, I'm quite glad I know my 12 times table from the previous lessons, my 12 times five is 60. Let's check on this side, two times five is 10, and then six times 10 is 60 here. Can you please give yourselves a huge tick if you got the answers 90, 105, 64 or 60 in any of those orders. It really doesn't matter which one you did, whether you tried both, but it's always, excuse me, worth putting those brackets on both, which ones are easier for you to work out. But as you can still see, the answers are the same. Okay. How can we work out these questions then? So complete these calculations on the left. We've got two times four, two times four, two times four. And then it said three lots of two times four is the same as three times eight, which equals. That's quite a lot of information, but let's break it down. This first picture here, we've got two lots of four. So two times four, I know is eight. This one, two times four, I know is eight. And this one, two times four, I know is eight. So that is asking this bit here, three groups of two times four. So I've worked out my answer to two times four. I need to do it three times, or it's basically saying three lots of eight because it's done that two times four for us. So I now need to add those eights up or do three lots of eight is 24. Okay, if you want to challenge yourself, pause this video now and have a go at the bottom left one there with those different pictures. Um, and you can then restart it when I go through the answers. If not, I'll go through it with you anyway, if you're not so sure. So this picture, we have three down and four along. So it's asking us three times four here. And it's the exact same picture here. So it's three times four here. 
and I know that three times four is 12. So when we look at above that two times four, our three times four needs to go in these boxes here. And it's asking how many groups there were. So here there were three groups, here there are only two groups. I've only worked it out twice. And then it's asking how many groups of what we had. So it's almost asking, we've still got our two groups, but our answer was our 12 this time. And if you add up your 12 and your 12, your two groups of 12, you have 24 again. Okay, well done if you spotted those. The other problem we have on the bottom right is to choose three digit cards and arrange them in the calculation. How many different calculations can you make using your three different digit cards? Which order do you find the most efficient to calculate the product and how have you grouped the numbers? So it's basically asking you to pick three digits. So I'm going to pick a two, a four and a five. How many different calculations can you make? So I've done two times four times five. I could do two times five times four. I could do four times two times five or four times five times two. And finally, I can have my five at the beginning, five times two times four and five times four times two. So I could actually have six different ways with the three numbers. And then it's asking you which order do you find the most efficient to calculate the product? And this is where we spoke on the other page about putting your brackets in. So is it easier on this one to do two, two lots of four times five? So four times five is 20 and two lots of that would be 40. That was quite simple to work out. Is it easier to do two lots of five times four? Again, that's the, the same way it's asking us to work it out with our 40 here. Or is it easier to do two times five first, which is our 10, and do four times 10, again, giving us our 40. And you'll notice that when we have the same number at the beginning, these uh, second two ways of working it out are exactly the same. Or is it easier to do the two times four or the four times two to give us our eight and then five times eight, which is again 40. It's asking you which one is the easiest way that you find, and it might not be the same as your friend. And grouping the numbers is where we put our brackets. Again, you could have moved your brackets to the front or either way to do those, that's absolutely fine. Uh, because I've done that one with you, if you would like to have a go at yourself picking three different digit numbers, just try and make sure they are three different numbers. And for ease, to make it more simple, choose the numbers as low as possible, not really including one because that's quite simple or zero, but two, three, four, five, something like that, even a six if you want to challenge yourself further, but you can have a go at that one. Okay. Your task today then, you have four do it questions, very similar to the ones that we did on the other page. My advice is to put those brackets in, doesn't matter where you put them as long as you do one calculation first and then the other. Your go deep then is a Colin problem. So Colin thinks that two times six times five is 120. And that's because he's done his two times six, then his two times five, and then multiplied the numbers. So you need to explain why he is correct and even show how you would work out that answer. Finally, then you have your go deeper. You're always sometimes never true. If A, B and C are single digits, then the product of A, B and C is even. So what it's asking you to do is to come up just like we did on that last question with A being a number. So I'm going to randomly give it three, B a different number, and see a different number. Again, I've chosen three random numbers. You don't, please feel free not to have to copy mine, just create three different single digit numbers and the product, and that product is multiplication. If the product of A, B and C, so my three times two times four is even. 
is it always true, sometimes true or never true? And you're going to have to use um, a couple of different numbers um, to keep trying that to work out if it is always, sometimes or never true. Good luck today. Um, I know you'll be fine at those, um, but make sure you re you rewind the video if you need it to explain, uh, you need me to explain how to do it again, and then just come back at the end for your learning pit. Good luck. Okay, well done year four. That was um, tricky in principle, but hopefully when you broke it down, you were okay with those. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing some of that work if you send that through. Um, and just have a think about where you are. The walt with the commutativity word, commutativity, was quite tricky, but hopefully you've used that knowledge of your factor pairs, those times table um, brackets to men uh, mentally multiply those three numbers. Just have a think where you are. Are you quite low in the learning pit thinking, yeah, it was a good start, I tried my best, but I need more work, or did you find it quite simple to see that process through? A huge well done, and I will see you tomorrow for a new maths unit. Uh, bye for now.